So, you're probably wondering how a guy like me got into a video like this one. And that's a good question. It comes down to confidence, contemplation, and incorrigibility. Step one, get a post-it note. Step two, get a pen. Step three, let a bunch of people request things for you to draw. Now, um, a bunch of these things were things that I was glad to draw, and by a bunch of them, I mean every single one of them. I was glad to draw them, and I'm not putting like the descriptions of what I was drawing for each one of these or what the person requested here because uh, I either forgot or I didn't keep track or I mostly forgot. Uh, it's just too hard to look it up or I just don't know, okay? You can just imagine what this, what each person possibly could have requested for this doodle on each post-it note to come into reality. But people request things and you may or you may not be surprised at the, at the number of cats uh, and cat-related things, excuse me, cat-related things that were requested. After all, it is the internet, and the internet is full of people from the world, for the most part, and uh, those people like cats. I don't know if even a single dog was requested. I know there's cat people, I know there's dog people, why were no dogs requested? Cats are requested more foxes than even dogs were requested. What's the deal with that? Dogs, dog people just don't like having their dogs drawn? Or dogs drawn at all? Anyways, um, I'm not sure what these people were requesting or expecting when they requested cats being drawn, uh, because I'm, I'm guessing if you request something from me to be drawn and get one of these post to no doodles, you know who I am and you know what sort of things I'm drawing, I usually draw, and you... You realize never, almost never have I ever drawn a cat or any sort of animal, really, uh, that needed to look a certain way. And I realized quickly, uh, cats are very difficult to draw. But I don't mean to, I don't mean, so I mean, I did my best. I did good, and it was a very humbling and humiliating experience. But I don't mean to linger and loiter on the cat subject too much. I do want to tell you uh, I had fun drawing all of these. Some things were very off the wall. Some, thi some things were very specific. Uh, long description saying this, doing this with that, leaning on that, pulling this way with this on his head, and reaching in this, that, up and around, wearing blue pants. But I was doing all black and white or black and yellow drawings, black and yellow. Um, and some of them, some of these words that were requested were just like a simple word like, cat, or one of them was joy. Uh, some of them just said, do whatever you want, surprise me, and I was happy to just doodle. So some of those, I'll be honest, some of those I spent a long time on because I got caught up in doodling, but uh, I was happy with all of them. And it's fun to, I've said this before, but small pieces of paper can be very liberating just because you don't get bogged down in one piece. And I'll say it again, this, that was the time I was saying it, saying it again because I've said it before. That's when I see that those little breaks like that when I forget, when I stop thinking of things to say. That's usually when I put in a little cut, a video cut. But this time I'm not. I'm just powering through. I'm talking even though I don't have anything to say. I'm talking about not having things to say. Power move. You respect me for that, right? No video cuts. Cutless. Cutless video. <laughs> All right. Uh, I used, for this pen, I mean, for this video, I used, uh, people always asked, I used a uh, Rotring, this is the different size, but I used a Rotring Isograph, which is a type of technical pen. Pretty expensive when it comes to pen. I wouldn't recommend it just because it's so expensive. I don't feel like people, and I... Uh, and I scan them in for people and I'm for some of these they're gonna be sent to people some of them I just scan them in it's complicated it's a complicated thing but I'm glad to have you all here today I'm glad you're all sitting there with your smug little faces being lit up by the little screen you're looking at how you doing how you doing
reach out, reach out and touch me. Finger to finger. Could we do like three fingers? I felt it. I did. Um, also, um, it was cool to draw things I don't usually draw, like trying to make things that look like things, not just the cats. Spaceships, people, you know, someone requested like a, a, a space viking. I don't know if you can see it, tell which one that is. One of them was a space viking, believe it or not. And it's uh, all sorts of crazy things that I would have never drawn unless they had gotten requested. And usually commissions stress me out, but this time they didn't stress me out because they were such tiny little commissions. And people are so happy. And people seem so happy to get these that I didn't... I just didn't feel stressed out about it. Usually, back in the back of my mind, I just don't want to do commissions because people seem... Even if people say, you can do whatever you want, Peter, I know that even if I do whatever I want, when I hand them, hand my drawing, the finished product to them, there will be something in their mind that they had in mind. They wanted, like, a certain type of doodle. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they wanted something, right? Why? Otherwise, why not just buy something I've already done? And if I draw with what someone else wants in the back of my head, head instead of just what I want, and what, instead of what I want in my head, then it just doesn't feel quite as liberating. I hope that doesn't sound selfish, but for me, I, drawing and art is just about getting lost in the lines instead of lost in someone else's lines. I don't know. I sound like a crazy person. I'm not. I'm not. I promise. Definitely sound like a, definitely sound like a great. <sighs> I'm just making faces at myself. I'm looking at the little screen on the camera there. The whole time that's what I've been looking at. Why Can you guys tell when I look here or look there? If I look here or there? Is looking over here annoying like out have you ever tried that thing where you talk to someone have a conversation with somebody but you look at their forehead instead of right at their eyes and they're it's kind of off-putting is that what i'm doing here looking at the little screen outside the camera instead of looking at the camera i apologize anyways thanks for watching everybody uh just thank you have a good day goodbye goodbye wait